I understand that there's tons of different ways to do training. Okay, there's, you know, one way is to have a lot of fun. And, you know, while that, you do need to love the game, you need to have fun, that's one way to train. Another way is to look cool. You want a lot of social media likes and followers and stuff like that, you can train to be cool. The third way is to train with purpose. Okay, and that means everything that you're doing is directly leading to in-game improvement. On the way to being free So this, uh, I've been I've been over to London a couple times, and so I have a pretty good understanding of what basketball is like over here. Uh, you know, the thing that I love is all the players really pay attention. Uh, they lock in on the details, and they all want to get better. Uh, anytime you come into a camp and clinic, really all you want is you want the kids to love the game. Uh, you know, crave improvement, and then it's it's my job to kind of teach them new things that they can add to their workouts so that eventually they can improve their game. No, I, th I think obviously the, the players all over the world, they differ, uh, you know, depending on kind of which country and stuff like that. I think, um, you know, London basketball has obviously uh, grown a tremendous amount the last couple of years. Um, you know, USA obviously prioritizes training a lot more and with the NBA being in America, um, you know, we, we kind of have first dibs on kind of the highest level training stuff. But I definitely think that, um, you know, London UK has made a huge jump in the advancement of training and I think that you're going to see that uh, as the training continues to improve the players will continue to improve and I think that more players will find themselves going from London to the, to the NBA. I think the biggest thing is obviously the culture of the game. Um, you know, over here I think that um, because there haven't been as many players that have made it, it, it doesn't seem like the dream is, is as possible. Uh, you know, it, it's harder to become a reality. And so that maybe players aren't going all in as much. And so I think that once players uh, decide that, you know, kind of the, there is no limit to how good you can be and that if they, uh, you know, work hard, work smart and work consistently, that they're going to have the chance to, uh, you know, turn their dream into reality. So I think it's just that mental kind of block of uh, since there haven't been as many players that have accomplished, uh, you know, playing in the NBA, I think they, they think it's far fetched. Whereas uh, once they get over that mental hurdle, I think players will go more all in, uh, devote the, the, their lives to the game of basketball. Basketball and, and I think that more people will then end up succeeding because of that. All right, thank you very much. Dude. No doubt. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and of course, follow us on all of our social media platforms. Until next time, stay blessed.